Hello there. So this one is called Three Permissions for Healing. And the first thing I'm going to do is apparently ignore what I'm supposed to be talking about and talk about something that actually happened. So this happened in the southern United States and a man was admitted to hospital and there was something very seriously wrong with him. In fact, he gave all the appearances of being someone who was actually in the process of dying. And the only people on duty in the hospital were a couple of interns. And they ran their tests. And to their utter amazement, they couldn't find anything wrong with him at all on any of the tests that they used. This was seriously disturbing to them, particularly because the guy's vital signs were diminishing fast and there was no question if something didn't happen quick it'd be over for this guy. So one of them had a brain wave. He stepped right outside the box and he said look I'll tell you what we're going to have to do for this guy. I know this is completely against our training we're going to have to make something up and that's exactly what they did. They made up a powerful ritual and they made use of all sorts of props, incense, various different things they used and they put it all together and then they went into the room where he was and they subjected him to a completely made up phony bogus ritual which the interns didn't have any belief in whatsoever and I'm sure you can guess what happened because once the ritual was performed the man came back to life and he made a complete recovery and what had happened is that the intern that had this brain wave was literally guided and the guidance that he received was this is a man who is not familiar with or cognizant of or believing in your medical systems you've got to create something which is in his own language and that's exactly what happened and so the guy's life was saved all because someone went right outside of the box so what on earth has that got to do with the three permissions for healing so I will elaborate the first permission for healing is when the client contacts the person who's going to do the healing for them and they ask please will you do some healing for me that's her first permission. So if you start off with your client asking you for healing work, you're already on the way and that's wonderful. The second step is that the client then needs to offer something in exchange for the work that's going to be done. And in a lot of parts of the world these days that is always money but traditionally it could be other things it could be a service it could be food it could be any manner of things but that's the point so when the person who wants the healing pays in whatever manner some kind of an energy exchange maybe money maybe something else along with the agreement of both parties that is the second permission that's being given. Now what's happening with these permissions is each permission is given, what the client and the healer are doing is they are literally entering into a contract with each other whereby the healer promises to do the work for the client and the client promises to receive the work from the healer. 
Now there's a particular case that I had quite some time ago and the person concerned he was receiving distant healing, he was living in a different part of the world Canada as it happens and as per usual I received the request online I accepted the request I received the payment the work was done the report was sent and as happens more often than perhaps I'd like there was no response that does happen with people sometimes they just don't respond and I've learned to accept that's part of the process part of their process but then about three weeks later to my surprise I received an email and it was saying I do appreciate what you've done and nothing's happened and then that was my cue to realize that what it was simply is this client needed a little bit of help with a third permission so the third permission is where the client accepts the work and this is such an important thing because without these three permissions nothing's going to happen so this third permission the one of accepting the work is all to do with what I would call the power of the story anyone who's got any condition at all any problem is living out a story and that is a story that some people are really willing to get go of there's no question about it but for some people there's actually a really significant part of them which doesn't want to let go of the old story and the old story could be summed up as follows I have a dis-ease of some kind so when a person is suffering from any kind of dis-ease what's happening is they are in the grip of this old story and this has been crafted sometimes over years when it's a story of disempowerment ultimately which is why the person has the desire to go for the healing in the first place so pretty significant stuff so all I needed to do is to send him a brief email just explaining that it was now his choice if he wanted to he could go back and consult that report and realize that this is his new reality this is a very much about the nature of reality here that's what we're talking about the nature of reality is such that our stories have such power over us that they literally form our experiences of life and all he had to do was to let go of that old story and take on a new story which is there in the report all waiting for him and I remember sending that email and it was one of those moments you think, mm, is he going to get it? who knows? and very shortly afterwards I got an email back saying yes I got it I feel completely different now my life is different everything is what I wanted for such a long time and that was such a wonderful moment for him and a wonderful moment for me too to see the way this plays out with people so if you ever find yourself in a situation where you realize you need help then the first permission is to ask for it the second permission is to perform the energy exchange and the last permission is to accept it to accept this new story of yourself into your life which is being created by the person who you contracted to do the work on your behalf in the first place so it really is a partnership that's what I want you to grasp about all this the whole point about healing is it's a partnership it's a partnership between you and whoever you choose to work on your behalf and that is 
the three permissions of healing. Thank you very much.